day everyone! We are the Group Disciples and today we will be discussing all about the last topic for finals, which is Earthworks. This is all that we are going to tackle today, so first is we will get to know what are Earthworks and volume measurement. Next, we will discuss the formulas that are important in Earthwork computations, which are the following. Average and area method, prismoidal formula, and volume with prismoidal corrections. Before everything else, let us get to know some terms that are important in this topic. Earthwork, the movement of soil or rock from one location to another for construction purposes. The construction of large open cuttings or excavations involving both cutting and filling of materials other than rock. Cut, a volume of earth that is excavated or removed from its natural location. Embankments or fill, excavated material that is placed and compacted in a different location. Another definition of embankment describes the fill added above the low points along the roadway to raise the level to the bottom of the pavement structure. Material for embankment commonly comes from roadway cuts or designated burrow areas. Excavation is the process of loosening and removing earth or rock from its original position in a cut and transporting it to a fill or to a waste deposit. Grading is also known as reshaping. Cross-section, a short profile taken perpendicular to the center line of a roadway or other facility. This typically shows the profile of the original ground surface, the base of the roadway, and the side slopes of the cut or fill. Now let us ask the question, what are earthworks? Earthworks involves the loosening, removal, and handling of earth quantities in the construction process. They are carried out to provide a level to raise with an even longitudinal slope on which the drainage and camber can be built. This is usually mo the most expensive cost in road construction. So here are the units. The most common unit of volume is a cube having edges of unit length. Cubit, cubic feet, cubic yards, and cubic meters are used in surveying calculations, with cubic yards and cubic meters being most common for earthwork. Note, 1 cubic yard is equal to 27 cubic feet, and 1 cubic meter is equal to 35.3144 cubic feet. The acre foot, which is the volume equivalent to an acre of an area, which is one foot deep, is commonly used for large quantities of water, while cubic feet per second and cubic meters per second are the usual units for water flow measurement. Surveyors are frequently relied upon to determine the volume of various materials. Many sorts of construct construction projects, for example, necessitate large quantities of earthwork and concrete. Earthwork operations have the purpose of determining the volume of materials that needs to be excavated or embanked for the engineering projects being held to carry the ground surface of predetermined grade. An example can be highways or roads. In the construction of such, we should do the preferred grade that we want, or the preferred elevation that we want. Like when an area is mountainous or steep, we should flatten it out. In earthworks, direct measurements are rarely needed due to it being difficult to apply it to a unit of measurement of the material involved. And due to this, we get the indirect measurements. Through measuring the lines and areas to be able to get the required volume or quantity. Earthwork volume calculations are required for practically all construction projects 
and are frequently completed as part of route surveying, particularly for roads and highways. Consider the case of removing a volume of cut between two nearby stations on a highway route. If you know the cross-sectional area at each station, you can calculate the average end area. The average end area is the average of the two cross-sectional areas and multiply it to the known horizontal distance between the stations to get the volume of the cut. You can quickly determine the area of a cross-section by running a planimeter around the section's plotted outline. These computations are required before any construction because we are required to know how much should be cut or filled to reach the desired elevation of our structure. Earthwork volume computations are mostly used for roads and highways, but it can also be used for different purposes such as concrete lining. So, for an us to really grasp the idea of what is cut and fill, here is a visualization. So here, we have a roadway project and using this image right here, we will figure out what places should be cut or filled. So in the back, bank, background, we can visualize that the area used to be a hill. And the original ground surface is approximately the red line. Because it is steep, and to be able to get the grade that we want, the soil beneath has been excavated or cut from the area. This part is called the cut area. And in the area that is in front of the cut, we see that it is lower. Its original ground surface is lower than the roadway being constructed. And because it is lower, it is required to fill the area to make it leveled and raise it to the ground surface. This is called the fill area. Now, what are activities in earthworks? So the activities are the following, measuring and calculation of volumes, excavation, loading, hauling, and unloading, and lastly, filling, which includes spreading and compaction. There are different types of road cross-sections, and these are dependent on what type of terrain is present. So for a flat terrain, Level section is suitable. In this, we are looking at the cross-section view of the road and not its profile. What is needed here is the area of the cross-section, and the level section is suitable for flat terrains. We can see that this have same trapezoids on each side, which is easily which we can easily solve for the area. Note for all types, the width of the finished roadway, which is denoted B here, is fixed by project requirements. So for road sections where in ordinary ground conditions prevail, such as a relative slope, three-level section is usually used. So in the photo shown, it is an example of a fill section wherein we are filling the area with materials to rise it up to the level named C. To get the area of C, we should compute the areas of the trapezoids present. For terrain with rough topography, five level section is possibly required. The photo here, the photo presented, is an example of a cut section and in order to have the area of this section the section is divided into four and lastly side hill section this happens when passing on side hill locations so from the term side hill this type of terrain is location 
is located on the side of the hill, wherein one side is like a cliff edge and is possibly prone to erosion or landslides. This image has a combination of the two, which means it has a cut and fill section. Now about volume computations, the, they are required to determine the capacities of different containers like bins, tanks, reservoirs, and buildings. To also check stockpiles of coal, gravel, and other materials. To also determine the quantities of water discharge by streams and rivers. Now, volume measurement using cross-section method. In surveying, we use indirect measurements by measuring lines and areas that have a relationship to the volume desired. Because our main goal is to get the volume, we are using the cross-sections or the end areas which are indirect measurements to be able to know the volume. It is not practical to use the exact volume of the earthworks. In earthwork volume computations, the design is set out on, a, on the field. The cross-section values gained at regular intervals is perpendicular to the center line from, and from the cross-section areas and the interval distances, the volumes are calculated. So we have three formulas which are used in earthwork volume computations. First is the average end area or end area formula. Average end area method or end area formula. Second is prismoidal formula. And third is volume with prismoidal corrections. Note, cross-section method is used mostly for computing volumes on linear construction projects like highways, canals, and etc. Prismoidal formula and average and area method are the formulas commonly used in getting the volume of earthworks. Average and area method is simpler and requires less field measurements and because of these conditions, this is usually the formula being used. But for certain solids, wherein volume is overestimated, prismoidal formula would help these overestimates of volume and give the correct values if it is utilized. Average and area volumes can be corrected by using the prismoidal corrections because prismoidal is more exact compared to the average and area method. Average and area method with prismoidal corrections has become the common practice in solving earthworks. And now let us proceed to the formulas. Hello everyone, I am Anthony Takanlong and I will report on the average and the area method. So, the average and area method. This method calculates the volume between two cross sections. So, basically what we are doing is taking the average of the two cross sections, multiplying it by the distance that is separating the two cross sections. So, its formula will be V equals A1 plus A2 over 2 times L and the second formula is when we need our answer to be in cubic yards so its formula will be a1 plus a2 over 2 times L over 27 so here we have sample problem number one so find the volume of two cross sections with a length of 40 meters and two areas of 110 square meters and 135 square meters respectively so we will plug in that into our equation and we will get 110 plus 135 over 2 times 40 so we simplify the fraction we will get 122.5 times 40 which will yield us 4900 cubic meters so that will be our final answer For sample problem number two, using the average and area method, calculate the cut volume for stations 130 to 131. 
So as you can see, in this problem, we are not given the distance L. So we have to compute for the distance L. So the formula for distance L is equal to the difference between the two stations we are looking for. So L is equal to station 131 minus station 130. And its answer is 100 feet. So that will be our L. So uh, now we plug in our values into our equation. So we can see the values of the area for different stations on the chart on the left side of our screen. So we plug those in in our equation. So we'll get V equals 1574 plus 578 over 2 times 100. So simplify the fraction, we get 1076 times 100. And our final answer will be 107,600 cubic feet. So that is all for my part. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Mark Loves, and today we're talking about prismoidal formula. So, where did this come from? So, prismoids may be decomposed into basic geometric solids such as prisms, pyramids, and wedges. And even the volume of a prismoid is obtained from the prismoidal formula. The prismoidal formula is used to calculate the volume between two cross sections like the average and area method. The difference between the prismoidal and average and area method formula is that the average and area method formula is often used and requires less field measurements. But for certain solids, the prismoidal method formula is the best choice as this would give the extreme accurate volume. The prismoidal formula applies to volumes of all geometric solids that can be considered as prismoids. A prismoid like in the diagram shown here is a solid having ends that are parallel but not similar and trapezoidal sides that are also not congruent. Most earthwork solids obtained from the cross-section data fit this kind of classification. So here in the diagram above is a cut section. There are involved faces in the diagram shown which are two end areas and an area in the middle. A1 and A2 are the areas of the parallel bases. The A sub M to A1 here in the diagram is L over 2 which gives the volume of the prismoid to become L times A1 plus 4 A sub M plus A2 over 6 where A sub M is the computed section midway between the end faces which are A1 and A2 as the area of the parallel end faces. And L in the diagram here is the perpendicular distance between the end faces A1 and A2. So to use such formulas right here, it is necessary to know the area sub M of the section halfway between the end stations of the parallel bases of A1 and A2 by averaging the heights and widths of the two end sections. This is why the prismoidal formula is more accurate than the average end area method since it gives off a smaller volume. So, for sample problem 1, here the problem reads, compute the volume using prismoidal formula and average end areas for the following three level sections of a road bed having a base of 24m and side slopes of 1.5 over 1. To solve this problem, we must first get the area, okay? So, to get the area, we input the values of 5.3 times 23.7 plus 23.0 over 2 plus 24 times 7.8 plus 7.4 over 4 which gives us the value of 215.0. For area 2, we input the value 6.0 times 21.8 plus 23.2 over 2 plus 24 times 6.5 plus 7.5 over 4 which gives us the value of 219.0. Lastly, for the area of 3, we input the values of 6.6 .6 times 24.8 plus 
5.5 over 2 plus 24 times 5.8 plus 7.0 which gives us the value of 236.2 so using the Prism model formula we input the values to get the volume this reads as 100 times 215.0 plus 4 then times 219.0 plus 236.2 take note that um a2 here the a sub m becomes a2 and the a2 in the last diagram becomes a3 it it can go other way around but some formulas use this but some other formulas use a1 and a2 and a3 okay so we input the val so we input the these values here and we get the value of 222,120 m3 or meter cube then for the volume of the center so we input the value of 100 times 215 which is a1 plus 236.2 which is a2 over 2 which gives us the value of 22,560 meter cube so that's it these are the final answers okay for sample problem 2 so here this is this is a this is a problem I solved myself um, so here we can try to compare the values for accuracy of the volume by using the Prism model formula and average and area method formula so this reads as compute the volume between station 6 plus 0, 0 and 8 plus 0, 0 with L being 1000 use the formulas average and area and Prism model formula method to compare one another's value so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use both formulas and compare which is more accurate Okay, so here, so, so so we have to first solve for the area. So since this is the given diagram, we can base off from this and solve for area. So the area formula here is one over half times the height times the width one, which is above here, plus width two below. Okay, so for area one, we input the values from the diagram. 1 over half times 8 times 30 plus 50 which gives us the value of 320 feet squared so for area 2 take note I've put in a2 is equals to a m because other formulas can use a1 a2 a3 or some other formulas use a1 a sub m and then a2 okay so for area 2 we input the values from the diagram 1 half times 12 times 30 plus 60 which gives us the value of 540 feet squared and then lastly for area 3 we input the values from the diagram 100 i 1 over 2 times 6 plus times 30 plus 70 which gives us the value of 300 feet squared okay next so to use the pre model formula to get to the volume here what I'm thinking, what I, what we will do is we're going to use the average and area method. So when substituted, 320 plus 540 over 2 times 1,000 plus 540 plus 300 over 2 times 1,000 again, which is the length, which is, which is given in the problem, L is equals to 1,000, the value gives us uh, 850,000 feet cube so now we're gonna use the pre spoiler formula which is said to be more accurate so here this is the formula take note um, we've subsist we've changed um, the a sub m to a2 and then the a2 from the from the formula before to a3 but all of those are the same so when substituted 1000 which is the length times 320 plus 4 times 540 plus 300 over 6 which gives us the value of 400 600 463 333 3, 3, 
333. When rounded it off, we can we can get the value of 463,333.33 feet cube. So, when we compare the both here, the, both of the values from the average and area method and the Chris model formula, when we compare the both, we can conclude that the volume value of the Chris model formula is lesser than the average and area method volume value and far more accurate. And that concludes the Chris model formula. Next slide, please. Hello everyone, my name is Nika Santalbano and I'm going to talk about volumes with prismoidal correction. Now what is prismoidal correction? The difference between the volumes obtained by the average and area formula and the prismoidal formula is called the prismoidal correction or CP. A prismoidal correction formula which provides accurate results for three level sections is we have the general formula which is CP equals L over 12 multiplied by C1 minus C2 multiplied by W1 minus W2 or it can be also V equals VE minus CP. Now let's go to the sample problem. Using the prismoidal correction formula, find the corrected volume of cut between stations 80 meters apart if the areas of irregular sections in cut at stations are 26 square meters and uh, 68 square meters respectively with a base width of equals to 8 meters and a side slope 1 is to 1. Now let's have our solution. We've been given the values of the areas 1 and 2 which is 26 meters squared and 68 meters squared and also the base width which is equals to 8 meters. Now let's find the variable y for areas 1 and 2. So we have the formulas for uh, the finding the variable y, which is a1 equals 1 half multiplied by 2y1 plus 2 times a multiplied by y1. And we need to uh, substitute the given values. It will become 26 equals 1 half multiplied by 2y1 plus 2 times 8 and multiplied by y1. Then we will have y2 1 plus 8y1 minus 26 equals 0. So as you can see, we have a quadratic equation here. So to solve this, we need to use the quadratic formula. And then after using the quadratic formula, we will have y equals negative 4 plus square root of 42, and it will become y equals 2.48 meters. And also for the variable y of area 2, it is, uh, it's still the same. Uh, a2 equals 1 half multiplied by 2y2 plus 2 times 8 multiplied by y2. And then substitute the given values, which is 68 equals 1 half multiplied by 2y2 plus 2 times 8 uh, multiplied by y2. Then we have y2, uh, two, uh, y squared 2 plus 8y2 minus 68 equals 0. Again, this is a quadratic equation. So we need to use the quadratic formula to get y equals 2 multiplied by square root of 21 minus 2. And then it will become y equals 5.17 meters. Next, we need to find the mean dimension. So for the formula, we have ym equals y1 plus y2 over 2. Then we're going to substitute the the y variables for both areas. So it will become 2.48 plus 5.17 over 2 and then our mean dimension will be 3.83 meters. And then we're going to find the mean area also. So for the formula of the mean area, we have am equals 1 half multiplied by 2 times 3.83 plus 2 times 8 and multiplied by 3.83. And then we have the mean area of 45.31 meters squared. And then after that, we're going to calculate the corrected volume. So for the formula, we have V equals H over 3 multiplied by A1 plus A2 plus 4 multiplied by AM. Then we're going to substitute the given values. So it will become 80 over 3 multiplied by 26 plus 68 plus 4 and multiplied by 45.31. So our V will become 
7,339.73 meter cube. Here are the references that we've used for this discussion. And this is the end of our discussion. Thank you for listening.